Hey my friends! It's so good to see you guys again. So a lot of you guys were asking me for a wing liner tutorial and also a bold lip tutorial. So I decided to kill two birds with one stone and do it all in one video for you guys. If you guys are not feeling bold enough and you guys don't want to do this dark lip, then just do a nude. This look will look fine with the nude. I did a purple lip because I feel since October's coming around, purple is more in for Halloween rather than red. I'll leave the reds for Christmas time, you know, way over there. <laughs> So I need ideas to do a new video. I was thinking of doing a contouring video next. So if you guys want to see that, then hit thumbs up on my video. If you want to see this look, all the products will be down on the bottom bar. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you soon. Hi, guys. So we're going to start off by putting tape on our eyes. And what this is going to do is that it's going to make the... Um, eyeshadow look way more defined and it's going to be better for when we draw the eyeliner it's going to make things easier for us. I put it on the back of my hand and took it off that way it can remove some stickiness so when you go took it off it doesn't hurt. Now we're going to use the Bye Bye Undry from Is Co It Cosmetics in the shade Neutral Medium. I didn't use Painterly today because I it was far from my room and it was late and I didn't want to wake up my parents and, you know, grab it from their room. So I'm putting that all over my lid with my finger, blending it out with the warmth. That way it can, you know, blend easier. Then we're going to go in with the Lorac Pro Matte Palette. I love this palette for fall and it's so creamy and buttery and it's so blendable. We're going to go in with the shade Bare and set that concealer that way... When we go put in another color, it's not sticky and it blends easier. And I'm using an all-over shader brush. And now we're going to go in with the color Pink Mauve and a MAC 224 blending brush and put that all over the crease as our transition shade. Remember that this process doesn't have to be perfect. Just blend it out. Remember it's our transition shade and that's all that it is. Um, I wanted to go a little deeper, so just pack it on as deep as you want it. I didn't want to do it too, too crazy, but, you know. And now I'm going to go in with the color Corduroy because I wanted it a little deeper. And it's like a cool tone brown. So I put that over the pink mauve shade and just blended it out. Now I'm going to go in with the color Linen and put that all over my my lid not passing the crease with a shader brush from the Urban Decay palettes the ones that come with them I like them to pack on stuff so you just pack it on all over your lid not passing your crease and what this is going to do is that this is going to brighten the eye and just clean up all the extra fallout that got on the lid and now we're going to go back in with the pink mauve and blend it out so there's no harsh lines And now to deepen the outer corners, I'm going to go in the, with the color burgundy and just keep that on the outer corners. I'm using an E35 from Sigma. Try to keep that out in the outer corners and a little bit into the crease, but maintain it on the outer corners because if not, it's going to look like you got punched in the eye and no one likes that. Now I'm going to go back in with the color linen and just pack that all over on my eye because with the blending it got, you know, blended away. So just to make it brighter. And then I just wanted it a little darker and I put more of the color burgundy. and just smoked it out a little bit and blended it out. Now I'm going to go in with the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in the shade Trooper. And I'm going to start drawing the wing. I like to tug at my eye a little bit while I'm doing the wing because if not I feel like I can't do it. I got a little bit out of frame. I'm sorry guys. Um, what I'm going to do is that I might film a actual winged eyeliner tutorial. If you guys want to see that let me know and I will do it for you guys. This is the hardest part. I suck at doing eyeliner with my eyes open. I'm just tugging at my eye. Now when we pull off the tape, you're going to see how sharp it looks. And that's what helps you get that winged look. 
here I was just checking that everything was okay. I lost the clip of my foundation, so you're going to see me here using my Sigma E15, sharpening out the eyeliner with some concealer, and then going in and blending out my concealer with a Sigma F86. And just blending all that out. Then I'm going to set it with the MAC Pro in, emphasize, in the shade Emphasize with my Sigma Taper Face F25. And I'm just going to set that all over my under eye and all over my face so I can, you know, mattify the concealer and it doesn't crease on me. Look at my hair. So it doesn't crease on me and it just, you know, maintains everything in place. Especially my T-zone where I get the most oiliness. Then I'm going to go in with the bronzer from Benefit in the shade Hula with my Tarte contouring brush. Oh my god, you see how much I put on there by accident. But it's nothing that we can't blend out. And so here I'm just blending out, you know, a little bit of contouring. This brush, I love it so far. It gives me a very, like, airbrushed contour and I'm just putting that all over my cheeks and my forehead and on my chin. Just blending it out. And then I'm putting that under my lips so it can make me look like I have a little bit of a pouty lip. And then putting that all over my nose because we don't want a contour face with a bright white nose. And then I'm just bringing that down under my neck so everything is seamless. And then we're going to do the under eyes. I'm going to go in with the color burgundy on a Sigma E20 and just put that on my waterline. And then I'm going to blend that out with the shade Pink Mauve with an e.l.f. Professional Eye Crease Brush. And I'm just going to blend that out in the bottom. Now I'm going to go in with the Pro Emphasize and the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Powder in the shade Banana with my NARS Eater Brush. And I'm going to cut and clean out that contour. And just set a little bit under my under eyes again and on my nose just to highlight. On the places and then I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay Afterglow 8 hour powder blush blush sorry guys in the shade fetish and I'm using a real techniques blush brush then I'm gonna go in with the Becca cosmetics in champagne pop it's a shimmering skin perfector yeah with a real technique setting brush and I'm just gonna put that on the highest points of my cheekbone and blend it out and then I'm going to put it on top of my nose and on my other cheekbone. And then on my cupid's bow to accentuate my lips. And then for mascara, I put the Too, Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. And I flinched here and I got a little bit of mascara under my eye, but that's nothing that we can't fix later on. And I tried to focus the MAC pencil, but it wasn't working. And this is the shade Nightingale from MAC. I believe it's a pro a pro product. I'm not sure. But, I mean, go to your local MAC. Maybe they have it. But this is the shade Nightingale, and I'm just putting that all over my lip, lining it, making sure that there's no patchiness. And then I'm going to go in with the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color Transylvania, and I'm going to put that all over the lip. I'm just, you know, outlining my lip a little bit. I'm just putting it all over the lip. This shade does get more matte and darker. It looks a little bit shiny now. And not as dark, but as soon as it dries, it will get dark. I promise. This is my favorite shade for the October Halloween months. Because, you know, Transylvania. And now I'm going to grab a spoolie and scratch off that mascara that's now dry. And just put a little bit more of concealer and just blend it out. And here's the finished look for you guys. I hope you guys love it and I'll see you soon. Bye!